I bet you're wondering what you can build for $70. <laughs> well, I've got the answer for you guys. That is a $70 CSGO potato. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with another used PC build. This time around, this build came about because I actually failed with a build that was pretty similar in that I couldn't overclock it as much as I could have because of the DDR2 memory, which is only 667 megahertz. So I decided to use that cheap memory and put it in something of a similar build that was much cheaper and didn't really support overclocking and see what I could build on a real strict budget. So let's go over the parts and the prices of these parts and then we'll move over to the build.
So it's now for the time for the moment of truth. So we're going to try and boot this bad boy up and see if we can get a signal out of it. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. But I'm pretty sure it works because I actually tested the motherboard at the, uh, at the store already. So <laughs> kind of cheated this time. So yeah, it's booting up here and it's booting into, uh, don't know what language this is, but anyway, looks like it's French or something. So it's working. So we're going to install the new BIOS now, and then we're going to see if we can get Counter-Strike on here. So everything is being recognized. This is great news.
So there we have it guys, the $70 CSGO potato was playing the game absolutely fine in my opinion, though it was a far cry from all the other used PC builds that I've done, especially the $327 PC, which had a better CPU and a much better GPU. Another thing to keep in mind with this build was the hard drive is a SATA Gen 1 hard drive, so it is very slow when it comes to things like load times and loading the OS. Another thing too is the overclocks were very limited, especially because of that DDR2 667 megabytes megahertz memory though the cpu was still kicking it especially for its age and it did manage to get up and boogie in csgo which impressed me a lot and we did get some decent frame rates so i can recommend this build if you are on a strict budget that is the lga 771 cpu modded to an lga 775 board now if you want to do a mod like this i'll put the link in the description below and it's not too hard though you have to be very careful and you have to have some pretty precise tools so anyway guys, that's about it for today. If you have any questions about the CSGO potato, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and be sure to plug that thumbs up button and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. And also don't forget to subscribe because more builds like this will be coming your way very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.